What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMascus.com at Lift More Fitness again. Um, I'm going to take you guys through a powerlifting type ab workout. Um, this is for people looking to gain strength on their squat and deadlift and stuff like that. And in general get a stronger core for anything like even overhead press, avoiding injuries and stuff like that. This is what I recommend. And I'm going to go through a relatively low volume ab routine, but that doesn't mean that doing more wouldn't necessarily benefit you more. I do believe that if you do more work, more volume and stuff, typically it's better for size and strength on stuff like, you know, abs or curls or something like that. But we're just going to do two sets for exercise. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you these exercises and what I recommend for each one. Alright, first exercise is dumbbell stomach push-outs. There's probably an official name for these, I don't know what it is, but I really, really like these. It more or less demonstrates pushing out against the belt with your abs or pushing your you know, lower stomach into your upper thigh when you deadlift at the bottom or in a squat. It's really, really great for um, improving those lifts because it's actually going to give you some drive. If you can push your abs against your legs, you actually have something driving you upwards. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. We're going to do two sets to failure, somewhere between 10 and 30 reps. I'll go up to 100s, maybe sometimes 150s if I'm trying to go crazy. You may use 25s to 50s, maybe 75s, maybe some of you use 100s and stuff. It's not about going heavy, it's mostly about just training the movement. Let the weight sink in, press up, in, press up. You will get lightheaded. It is hard to maintain your breathing. Just do your best. Make sure you hold it. And that is the first exercise. Okay, the next exercise is dumbbell side bends. This is going to be the exercise that keeps you from a lot of back injuries related with someone misloading the bar and stuff like that. Um, if you've ever worked out with a partner or something, someone puts a 25 on one side, not on the other side, you pick it up anyways if you're deadlifting or squatting. It just feels really terrible and off, and you normally like drop it at the top. Well, this is going to help with that kind of thing. It's going to help stabilize your core. So you're going to probably do 10 sets, or excuse me, 2 sets of 20 to 30 reps. Again, I'll go 100s, 150s, something like that. Um, but oftentimes I'll just use 50s. Because I believe for abs it's not always about pushing weights and trying to go to failure and stuff like that. Sometimes it's just about actually working your core a little bit so it's a little bit more, just so it's a little bit bigger, stronger than it was. It doesn't need to be taken to an extreme. It just needs to be trained a little bit more than it was. You know, if you go from doing nothing to doing something, you get a benefit. If you do a little bit more, you get a benefit. You don't have to go crazy with it like you would squats. And that's what I recommend for this exercise. It will train your obliques, which will make them grow, which some people think is bad. Your obliques aren't going to get wider than your hips are. So pretty much just go with that. Um, a lot of people think they're going to get a square waist. Not necessarily. You know what I mean? Some people just have square waists. Some people have small waists no matter what they do. I know plenty of people who squat, deadlift, train tons of abs, still have small waists. I know a lot, of, a lot of people that don't do any ab work, don't work out at all, have big block frames. So um, don't worry too much about that. But I do recommend this exercise, two sets of 20 to 30 for the second. Our third exercise is going to be a crunch variation. Um, I forget the actual name of this, but I've been doing it for years, so I haven't really used the name. Um, I typically tell people to hold weight behind their head because I don't explain this to them. So I'm glad I'm making this video. I'll show you guys how it's done. You're going to do two sets of 20 to 30 reps. I'll use 135, 185, as high as 225 sometimes. Take it at arm's length and just try and touch the ceiling with it. Get as high as you can. Probably want to start off with the bar, maybe 95 pounds. Um, more experienced lifters, stronger lifters, probably 135 for the time being. This again isn't about weight, it's just about training the muscle. However, you do want to use more weight over time. Um, this is going to give you a really strong upper ab section here, really dense and stuff, which is where I like to put my belt so it helps me especially. I highly recommend this to everyone. You're going to feel this in your, um, your middle abs and stuff like that as well because you really get a pretty good contraction all the way up when you get up there. And I'm going to show you guys the final exercise that wraps all this up. Our last exercise is the hanging leg raise. You can do these on a pull-up bar if you don't have this. Just hang from there and, and raise your legs. I'm going to use this thing. 
Um, I don't exactly fit in it. Um, again, probably two sets to failure. Uh, if you're lighter and can do a lot of leg raises, figure out a way to add some weight. Maybe use some bands. Maybe try and hold a dumbbell between your feet. Have someone push your feet down. That kind of thing. Try and get your legs past parallel or up to. You're going to do two sets of failure like that with your body weight. Maybe add some weight. Shoot for 20 to 30 reps somewhere in there. And that is the final exercise I recommend. If you do this ab workout, two sets of each, I think you would definitely see improved results in your squatting and deadlifting, decreased injuries and stuff like that. Always practice safe form. Always remember to breathe, that kind of stuff. Always consult with a doctor. But this is what I recommend for ab training, for powerlifting and strength and stuff like that. As always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out MuscleMasochist.com for approved products, apparel, online coaching programs, and stuff like that. And stay tuned for more. Oh,